COVID-19 third dose likely required, Pfizer CEO says. Pfizer CEO Albert Perla seems certain that a booster shot against COVID-19 is needed. This booster is for those who are fully vaccinated against the disease. It is extremely important to suppress the pool of people that can be susceptible to the virus, Burla said. According to CNBC, Pfizer told earlier this month that its vaccine, co-developed by BioNTech, is over 91% effective in protecting people against COVID-19. While over 95% effective in preventing severe disease for up to six months after the second dose. Although the data are encouraging, the six months part appears to be a limit where the effectiveness starts to drop beyond six months. This is the reason why vaccine makers are considering a third shot to sustain protection levels. But when should you get the booster and how long will the protection last? Burla told CNBC that the third dose is likely between 6 and 12 months after the second dose. Thereafter, annual revaccination to keep people protected. However, these are yet to be confirmed. So an annual dose of COVID-19 may represent 12 months of protection against the disease like flu shots. For COVID response chief science officer David Kessler, the situation is more complex with the prevalence of variants. Studies have shown that the vaccines are very effective, yet some waning has been detected. They believe that the waning is led by variants to make vaccines work harder, and booster shots may overcome it. Nathan Bartlett, associate professor at the University of Newcastle, posted on the conversation that booster shots are likely to close the gap caused by the waning and supplement the original doses by including tweaks for variants. Vaccine makers may add extras in the boosters to help vaccine-induced antibodies defeat those variants with dodging capabilities. Though not all platforms may create effective boosters quickly. Bartlett wrote that mRNA vaccines like Pfizer's and Moderna's are easier to update, compared to viral vector-based vaccines like AstraZeneca's and Johnson & Johnson's. There's also the issue immunology is called vector immunity where the body eventually develops immunity against the vector itself. This immune response will attack the courier and not the message it's trying to deliver to cells. Thus, vector immunity may wear down vaccine effectiveness over time if a person keeps getting the same vaccine type. Still, viral vector vaccines are not out of the equation. They remain essential in inoculating people aged 50 years and older. People younger than 50 may offer these vaccines with an informed decision.